RJ can't hold water, y'all. He already done told Katie what Luna just told him. What Luna just told him. But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review of Life is Chasing for the Bold and Beautiful August 8, 2024. Okay, y'all, let me know down below what y'all thought of today's episode. Okay, so where are we going to start first? I guess with Brooke now. So, Brooke and Rich made it back, and they was talking about, you know, everything that happened. Then they started talking about what happened, the death of El Jardino. So then I was like, okay, is Katie going to say something? Is Katie going to say something? Because she was looking, but she didn't say nothing. She ends up leaving, and then Carter talking about he going to check on her. I said, she ain't there. <laughs> he told me he going to check on her. I said, she ain't there, sir. Bill and Liam. Bill and Liam was talking about Will, you know, him being back and how he reacted when he seen Poppy and Bill in bed together. Look, I was trying to find some spoilers that said something about who did it. But Bill and Liam also end up talking about Luna and Poppy. He studied saying how happy he is. I say I feel like Bill more so excited or happy about Luna being his daughter than him being with Poppy. <laughs> I, I just feel that way. I don't know. What do y'all think? Comment down below. But yeah, they was just talking about how Will will eventually start coming around. I was waiting on Will, Bill, and uh, Katie to all be in the same room for them to have a conversation or something like that. I know they showed on last week's Friday's episode, at the end of the episode, they showed Katie warning Bill again. But they didn't show, I don't think they showed Will. Luna and Poppy continued to talk about Tom, and basically she was reading the letters and saying that he thought that he was the father. Basically, he was a stalker. That's what they saying. And I be feeling like these people never learn. Because Poppy just got through telling telling Bill. She just got through telling Bill about her relationship with Tom. How he thought that he was the father of Luna and all that stuff. So why would you keep the fact that you that the bad pay was there. That you didn't place there from him. From him. I said Bill probably got connections. Well we know he got connections. Because remember he helped, um, helped get Sheila out of them charges. I said so if they did try to accuse you of it. He would be able to help. But no, she hasn't told him nothing. She went there, they was hugging and everything. I said, tell him the truth. You just got through telling him about Tom. He was upset, you could tell. And you gonna lie again? You lying through a mission? But yeah, they was talking about it. And basically, Luna don't know who to believe. She was like, she want to believe that her mama didn't do it because she's a nice person and she'll never hurt anybody and all this other stuff. And I said, I don't know where they going with this storyline. I skipped the part. Poppy suggested that maybe Tom put the backpack there. And I said, why would he put the backpack? How he was going to put the backpack there? I said, oh, they don't know. They don't know that their backpack went missing when they was looking for it. Remember when Sheila Nell was looking for it and it was gone? They were trying to tell that Hollis told her about the backpack. I said, yeah, they don't know about it. I said, if they would have disclosed that type of information, then maybe, you know, they would have known ahead of time. Because that's considered evidence. That's considered evidence. And you over here talking about, I said, don't tell nobody. Then Luna going to go tell RJ. Then RJ going to go tell uh, Katie. I said, Katie from the tell, show us her name, Katie. <laughs> show us her name, Katie. Tell me, I said, uh, you can't say anything. I said, you crazy. I said, you crazy. They said on tomorrow's episode, Katie, Sheila, and Deacon all supposed to, you know, ponder about everything that has happened. So I wonder if they're going to do it together. with, Because, you know, on today's episode, Katie went to talk to Deacon about everything that happened. First, he thought she was there to, you know, talk about Sheila. But she was like, no, it's about Poppy. So before they got into any details, that's when RJ walked up because he overheard their conversation. But, yeah, y'all, that's basically all that really happened on today's episode. Let me know down below what y'all thought. Stay tuned for the next review. Until next time, do subscribe. Girl, rest of the day and be safe.